Hey everybody, it's the interview queen Alicia Atu here and I would like to welcome you all to an all new episode of Catching Up With featuring Darby Allen. Hello. Hola, how are you? I'm doing well. It's been a minute since I've seen you, so how are you doing? Everything's crazy. Uh, it's a lot different. I think the last time, shit, I saw you, I don't know, it was I think it may have been double or nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a while ago, yeah. Crazy. That's crazy. So I'm assuming everything's been treating you well because it seems like everything's going a lot better, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's a nine day difference since we've started um, with AEW since I've started to now. It's crazy as shit. So. <laughs> I mean, obviously, one of the biggest changes has to be the fact that you are so much busier. Um, but what would you say are some of the other bigger or noticeable things that have kind of changed since then? Uh, just doors from all different types of entertainment opening up you know like i said i was gonna start um direct my own movies here in may and stuff like that so i feel like more people are interested in that shit as opposed to if i wasn't in AEW. so it just opens more doors for all types of entertainment of course i mean not too long ago you had mentioned how you kind of wanted to have a fairly quick run in wrestling so you could stop wrestling and go straight into directing and the film industry is that the same mindset now, or do you feel like you can kind of have both aspects since you are now thriving in wrestling and can possibly do the same in film? Definitely both. Definitely both. Now, uh, the schedule is so, um, it's like really nice because I have a lot of downtime to do whatever the hell I want outside of it, and it doesn't consume my life 24 7. And uh, yeah, and I, you know, I have the freedom to do whatever. So, of course, I'd love to do both now. When it comes to film, you were in film school before dropping out, getting like super into wrestling, doing it more frequently. So I'm assuming in the back of your mind, you have a lot of different things written out already that you would like to eventually direct. Like, do you kind of just have a whole catalog that needs to come to fruition? No, I have a, I've already, I wrote a script like three years ago and we're directing that full length movie in May. Uh, so I've had scripts, plans that I've had forever, but I've never had the money because I was like living in my car and shit yeah. like that so now i can actually drop money and pay people to do the crazy uh stunts for the movie and shit like <laughs> that because like no one ever wanted to do this shit for free before but now like uh we got a lot of plans for uh, a lot of plans for this movie we're filming in may so that's amazing you mentioned crazy stunts there which is obviously something that you are really really known for not just in wrestling but also outside <laughs> of this world um so when you direct do you ever plan on putting yourself in a film or are you really just taking a step back uh no i don't know it depends i might get hit by a car or something that's about it but uh <laughs> i don't know i really don't know um i i don't know i kind of just want like my uh crazy family members or friends to be in this movie i'm not paying actors so to say i just feel like there's so much characters in my life that i said for the longest time you need to be in front of a screen or like front of camera i mean and you know i feel like making my own movies it's kind of like my own little world so um yeah i i don't know i i think for me personally it just depends i don't know yet i like I a cameo as a gas station attendant or something. <laughs> something where it's like, oh, is that him? Yeah, it is. Nothing too yeah. obvious. Yeah, I talked to Moxley about making an appearance in my movie, and I think he's just going <clears> to... <throat> I just told him he could like, run somebody over with a car. So, so I don't you know. Earlier, you mentioned how you could be hit by a car, so maybe you'll be getting hit by one John Moxley. <laughs> yeah, no, it'd be, uh, it'd be, it'd be fun, so... Well, I like how casually you mentioned, like, you know, I might just get hit by a car, like, no big deal. So I feel like stunts are just second nature to you. You obviously have a very high pain tolerance, not to say you don't feel it in the end. Um, but just when I think I've seen a match of yours where I'm like, okay, he's outdone himself. Like, I don't think he can top it. You do. And you do something even more manic and even more dangerous. So is there ever anything kind of like, you're like, I'm never doing it. That's completely off limits. Not my thing. Uh, no. I don't know. <laughs> stunt wise, no. I wouldn't say that. Um, are you familiar with the band Avenged Sevenfold? Of course, yeah. So we're going over to Johnny's house. Uh, he, he's in the band, and uh, uh, we're filming that Drinks with Johnny thing. It's it's like a, for the YouTube channel and stuff like that. Their YouTube channel, and we're gonna. He's creating like a, a trivia game, and 
all me and my friends are going over to his house next week and we're uh whoever gets to lose gets pepper sprayed and tased so oh, at I the guess, same time no i don't know about the same time. <laughs> I was like, Shit, that's a lot man <laughs> yeah you'd probably uh crap your pants and throw up if that happened but yeah. um no yeah so <clears throat> we're gonna do that next week and stuff so i i want to do more stunts and ja- like crazy shit outside of ring where people can like watch me so that's like the one that i guess people can be on the lookout for that so yeah that's but, super yeah. cool yeah because originally i wanted my friend to be on the show today yeah but his flight got seven o'clock now but his flight got delayed so he's not getting it until like five in the morning so uh yeah, he was. He's a he's a crazy guy, and he's gonna be living in my uh, downstairs. I got a ring downstairs at my house now. And he's gonna be living in the ring, so. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna be doing crazy shit. So it's gonna be a uh, yeah. He's a crazy man. I would have paid him hundred dollars to do something crazy on your show today, but he's trapped in Vegas right now. So. Well, maybe next time we can have him on. You never know. Yeah, that'd be fun. Well, it's been it's been cool for me because lately when I've been at my MLW tapings, I've been able to chill out in room and do promos and everything with your wife, Priscilla Kelly, which is really cool being able to just see her more frequently. Um, and it's always so cute because whenever she talks about you, she's always like, oh, my husband. Like, it's, it's adorable. Um, so I was just wondering when you guys aren't on the road, because it is fairly frequently, especially with weekly tapings. How do you just like to chill, just unwind, kind of forget about the wrestling? Well, we've got we just got a new house. And it's like we have like no neighbors and we have all this land and we just like we've been working on making that like our little gothic castle. And it's <laughs> like a, it's like a six bedroom house and it's like two stories, but there's all this room. So we got like a ring downstairs and our skate ramp in the garage. And we've just been trying to like put that together. And we just got this pug and that thing's like out of control right now being a little shit. So we're trying to, uh, I don't know, raise that thing and just build shit so we're pretty uh occupied um outside the ring with non-wrestling stuff like i said um you know we fly and do a lot of vacations and a lot of trips all the time because i have the schedule now to do it so it's nice congratulations i mean not only like the wedding i remember having you on for the first time and it was like leading up to the actual wedding and now you have a house together like congratulations i'm so glad how everything's turned out it's amazing yeah it's uh it's crazy it's real. it really is because uh this time last year i wasn't even signed to aw and i remember just like being in this like sketch ass apartment where like there's like people getting like shot every other week and i was just like this is like uh, i can't i can't do this anymore so it's okay. good that uh i uh got my privacy now Absolutely, in your gothic castle, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had my uh, <clears throat> crackhead uncle come paint it uh, last <laughs> month. And uh, I, uh, yeah, he, he was fun to torture and stuff like that. So I had him come paint the house, and I just told him, if you come paint the house, I'll uh, pay you some money now. And uh, I was just torturing him the whole time he was here. He stayed for like a month, so it was cool. Oh, gosh, that's fun. A lot of torture for the crackhead <laughs> uncle. Yeah, I'm John. <laughs> yeah, so it should be, be interesting. Yeah, so. Well, I'm just, I just want to say thank you for coming on here, for catching up. Once again, congrats on everything. Like, you've been nothing but awesome whenever I see you at shows and stuff, which is always really cool. So I'm stoked with how everything's turned out, really. Yeah, no, it's, uh, like I said, it's crazy because when AEW started, you never know where you're going to end up on the. Yeah on the on the card or the show and it's uh i've been like you know able to main event like a bunch of shows now and i just you know i i went going to AEW is by far the best thing i've ever chose so it's nice that's amazing well congrats once again thank you so much for chilling here tonight whatever you have planned for us tonight i hope it's awesome and everybody this has been darby allen thank you for hanging out today right here all thank you